I love you, I hate you versus lean for real. Why are these two against each other? Yeah, this First is really round. Tough. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most elaborate show on the internet. My name is Riley Zoe, and my flippant co host, Graydon. And we're once again lucky enough to be joined by our friend, singer, songwriter, rapper, content creator, and pumpkin carver, Quadeca. It is true. I do carve pumpkins erotically. Today we're deciding once and for all what the best Playboy Cardi song is. This is our Playboy, Playboy Cardi song bracket. bracket. 64 Playboy Cardi songs, only one song can win. We're gonna play it out March Madness style. Let us know what your favorite Playboy Cardi song is in the comments right now. I wanted to say, for everybody that's watched a Hive Mind Bracket video, I feel your pain, right? <laughs> uh, Riley told me when we were on the phone a few months ago, he's like, hey, I'm thinking of doing a, a Cardi Bracket. I said, stop, right then and there. I hung up the phone. I didn't call him back for weeks. He was like, what did I do that upset me? And I said, I need to be here when you yeah. do the Cardi Bracket. Yeah. I'm here to provide a little bit of reason and sanity into the bracket as a Cardi expert. Thank you for guiding us. There are three people on camera, so no DJ Grant tiebreakers today. Uh -huh. May the best song win. And also with you. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiMyTV.com for our merch. Also, our Patreon and our Cameo are linked in the description if you'd like to support us. And please go stream Quadeca's new album, I Didn't Mean to Haunt You, out everywhere right now. Buy it. Buy it. With real money. All right, first round, we're going to hear a clip of the songs. After that, we just play it out. Let's go. I can't go nowhere without my take! Don't freak out, by the way. Leaks are included. We've got leaks on the bracket. First matchup, let's go. Location versus not playing. I know which one I'm gonna pick. Me too. It's not close on this round, for sure. But I have some hot takes. Yeah. Hot takes about what? What could this possibly mean? We'll see. Tess on my neck, I'm on phone. Tess on my neck, I'm on phone. One of the best beats Playboy Cardi's ever gotten. Beautiful sample. That's one of those samples that was so magical to me that I had to like find the song itself and yeah. listen to it again. There's something special in that one. And its magic lives on on TikTok. Talk. Yeah. Oh, is this one's big on TikTok? Huge sound. It'll never go away. Harry Fraud beat, too. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I will say that refrain only comes in at the end, like the way he sings it at the end, and that makes that whole song. But yeah. the first half is like one of the more boring songs in Whole Lot of Red. Yeah. I'll save my hot take about location for the next round, because I feel like location's moving on, obviously. Yes. And That's I don't, where I'm at. I don't like what that means for the future. I think he would suggest that he doesn't like location that <laughs> much, and that scares me. So let's move it on, and, and I hope that uh, something happens to you before we get to the next round so that we don't have to hear what your thoughts are. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. What do you hope happens to him? <laughs> an avalanche, maybe over an there. An avalanche? A piano falls on his head. <laughs> maybe so an funny. allergen flies into the room and is no longer able to proceed with the game. And it's just you and me. What is this, a slapstick you know? cartoon? You think <laughs> an anvil is going to fall on my head? Oh, an anvil would be good. Maybe like a sea captain comes in and like pushes you off a plank or something. Arr! Not that I've arranged for that. Now we got No Time versus Cancun. First mm. leak. Cancun is a place in Mexico. Thank you. <laughs> Not a problem, pal. We ain't got time. I drop my demons out in my mind. It's gonna be really hard for me to deviate from Die Lit. It's like a musical Bible for me. I respect that. There was a time in my life where I would actually unironically kind of agree. Gotta be Cancun. It's pretty like undeniably obvious that Cancun is better. Than it is time. deniable. A lot of people say that Cancun's the best Cardi leak, and like it is great. To me, it's like we have a finished product here and a great idea. No, no, no. Cancun, even just in a in its one minute original form, is more exciting and better than No Time. Like No Time is a good song. It's not one of the best on Die Lit. You're right. Cancun is one of the best songs that was never released, and there was a, supposed to be a Skepta feature. If you guys kick out Cancun in the first round, I'm I'm literally gonna have to. I, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. You just See, said there was supposed to be a Skepta feature in like your argument for the song. That wasn't my argument for the song. Even I, you could take 30 seconds of Cancun and it ratios no time. Ratio. <laughs> yes. It. Yes. Here, here's. Let me say this though. Okay, say this. You should have brought more people with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can't come save a high. You can't save a bracket because it's still you two fucking still bozos. Us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like Grant yeah. can't save a bracket. Do you understand that Grant is very much praised in the context yeah, of these brackets? Yeah, that's like true. DJ Grant is the sane one behind the camera yeah. who saves songs from oblivion, whether it be him <laughs> or I. Are you actually gonna do that? Yes. Are you yes. actually getting like a hundred percent? Not even like, no doubt in my mind. Can I get like a, like one like golden ticket? Can I like <laughs> I think that's fine, but yeah. not on this one. We've established the rule too late, and so now you can All have right. a golden ticket later. All right, I want one golden ticket if this is gonna happen again. But go ahead, make the wrong choice. You get one <laughs> hill to die on. It's Sorry, guys. 
close. I'm trying. It's moments like these that just make me feel so close to my co-host here. Yeah, despite this like hunk of man meat in between us and like how we're usually sitting much closer for the videos and I can kind of like actually touch you. You are my little baby. And you're my gonna. <laughs> Give me a kiss on the cheek. We drip way too hard. Yeah, we, we drip do. too hard. Yeah. We drip so hard. I mean, it is kind of better like this. Yeah. You know what you think about it? Yeah. What's yeah. up? You're watching High Mind. Let's just uh, put it in dial, it. dial it into That's the Elite Eight. Host. Now we got Love Hurts versus New Tank. This is a good matchup. So you wanna rock so We got Travis Scott. It's a little bit of like a sleepy kind of song. It's a low key one, but it's one of those that creeps up into your subconscious later on. You just start singing it. Especially yeah. when you're off that red. Yeah, I've, I've, I couldn't relate to that experience. What does off that red mean? What does that mean? Straight drop, homie, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm robbing the bank. I'm robbing the bank. I'm ready to take. Oh, this is actually hard, this one. Yeah. yeah. This is a hard matchup. This is like, this yeah. is a very hard matchup for the first round. Yeah. I oh. will be happy with either one. I think just hearing that snippet, I kind of want to go with New Tank. I just kind of <laughs> lean away from the overly aggressive Cardi. Like, it's fine, and I do like the purpose it serves, but like, I don't know, the smoothness of Love Hurts has that in my favor. Personally, I'm leaning 70% towards New Tank. Your Love Hurts. I am. I'm about 70% so there. I'm like 51% love hurts. Yeah. That's this a is close, a really that's tough so one. close, but yeah. yeah, do it, do it. Now we got Punk Monk versus Kelly K. This is a very personally tough matchup again. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. That's I mean, oh man. Great song. Crazy, crazy. It's like you're rolling up a toothpaste that's almost empty and then his vocals come out. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way, to, that's a really you know good I mean? way of describing it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's like he's in the studio and nothing's coming out. And the producer came in and was like up his legs. And then we got up here and he said, don't talk to me. <laughs> it's very funny that you say it. Cause I actually did a Cardi like whole lot of red impression. The way that I recorded it was I would just hold my breath and like talk and then do the line I wanted to record after. So I'd be yeah. like, don't talk to me. Like yeah. right when I was in that. That's how he fucking does it. Come and get pipe for the night, ho. Oh, designer draws and I need some ice, ho. Maybe my favorite on the self-titled. Really? I think that Kelly K is a, like a uniquely special vibe. It has a lot of nostalgia. I think one thing that is also interesting about this bracket, not to be mean about, you know, how old you are, because you guys are very old, <laughs> but this era of Cardi, you know, 2015 to 2019, those were my high school years. Yeah. And so, you know, if you go on any of those old Cardi leaks you read the comments, it's all people being like, man, I remember sophomore year, me and my boys used to stay up till 2 a.m. and smoke a bowl. And like, we listened to all these leaks. Like, like I had those experiences. Yeah. What do you so think I, happened in college? It's just different. There is something different about the about the Cardi high school thing. Yeah, the, the drug of choice is different. We, yeah. like, we were like sipping lean and, and doing acid. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. It's a different feeling, yeah. you right. know? Yeah. We had like real money to spend and like we were allowed in strip clubs and that kind of stuff. Exactly, yeah. yeah, we, yeah. Can, we just had to imagine that. And Cardi yeah. was like the window to that. We like lived, <laughs> we like lived that life. Yeah, we yeah. lived that sort of life. Yeah, I was in Philly playing PlayStation with Lowe's. <laughs> yeah. That I was there. I'm going 100% Kelly K on this one. I mean, I love that beat, but I just have grown with his delivery where when I hear his old stuff, it feels so reserved. It doesn't yeah. excite me the same way. It feels so visceral to listen to the new stuff that I, when I go back and listen to the old stuff, I wish that there was more energy to it. Like I am taking Punk Monk 100% because I just think it's just explosive. I hear what you're saying. I think that Kelly K has a special energy. You know, you're driving home late at night and Kelly K comes on and it's just, you're transported to a new dimension. Yeah, see, I don't drive home late at night anymore because I'm just kind of like, I'm like comfortable with myself. What does that mean? You, don't, you can't drive late at night because you're comfortable? It he, means he's chilling at the crib because he's got a nice pad. Yeah, I got a nice place. You don't got to go nowhere. The party comes to him. All right, bro. That's what I'm saying. That being said, I rather listen to Kelly K despite the iconicness of the yes! monk. That's cool. And again, I'm comfortable. I got a nice place. So I, I mean, it doesn't is. matter if it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? Thank yeah. you for saving Kelly K. Dude. Hey, no I problem. It. Great song. I was in high school once too. Teen X versus at meh. That's one of my favorites on Whole Lot of Red. So good. It's crazy. What's that, Don't put some 
my controversial opinion is I have loved that song since it came out. I mean, I have too. Yeah. I think that beat is incredible, yeah. but I'm still going Teen X. I'm gonna X, I'm gonna code me. But when he goes to that low and he's like, I'm gonna X, I'm gonna code team. <laughs> oh yeah, 100% Teen X, great song. I'm gonna vote at me and I just wanna paint the visual real quick. That song makes me feel like I'm deep in the water and then I find a cave and there's somehow air in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I found an underwater cave that I can like, I breathe. There's like plants and animals that you've never seen before. Yeah, that's, totally. That's all. I, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you you uh, weirdly are very good at describing music. Thank like, you. I'm a writer. All right. Now we got Shawty in Love versus Long Time. Easy. Shawty in Love with the Geek. Shawty in Love with the Geek. Popping the motherfucking pill. Yeah, it's a good leak. I ain't had shit in a long time. Just that friend like this, it took a long time. I mean, oh my god. Elevator to heaven. I can remember the first time I ever heard that. Just like, I'm gonna listen to Die Lit and clicking that and being like, oh, it's just the intro. Like it said, it should not say intro. I like that it says it that. I, I mean, I like it now, it's endearing now, yeah. but it's like, it's like top three song on the album. Literally, yeah. To yeah. me, th th this song is incredible. Yeah. Heart wrenching in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. it absolutely like, is. It, it really m makes you reflect and you can hear him reflecting in it. Like some people may think that this is funny that I'm like talking so seriously about Cardi. Right. But he is such an expressive vocalist that like in this song, Long Time, if you give him the benefit of the doubt, if you sort of let the sort of meme-dom of Cardi fade away and really just like try and sink into it and feel it, this is just a very heartfelt song. It's a know? grown folk yeah. music. Yeah. It's yeah. literally like the come up story without yeah. telling it. You just feel it. You're it like, this exactly it took it. such a, it took a long time to yeah. feel like this. Also like you climb to these heights and it only feels like this. You know, it doesn't feel like he's necessarily totally happy to be there. He's like, just to feel like this. Yeah. It took right. a long time. All right, now we got new neon versus skeleton. One of my favorites off Whole Lotta Red. Solid. That one took a long time to grow on me. I'm going leak on this one. I'm kind of leaning that way too. But I don't know, new neon, like it's hard to favor a leak because I just feel like it's never going to be what it should have been. I don't know. I think when the leak even with work to be done on it is better than the finished song, I got to give it to the to the leak. Yeah, um, I'm just like kind of a lazy listener. I don't really listen to leaks like that. I, I'm going to go with Skeleton. I won't cry if y'all pick new neon, but I think Skeleton's just better. I'm leaning Skeleton, but I could, I mean, a last minute argument could push me back over the other way. I don't have much of an argument, like I All said, right. you know. Then it's skeleton. Let's All throw right. it. Skeleton. First leak to win. All right, now we got throw it up versus shooter. You <laughs> told me yesterday you have a hot take about shooter. I do. It kind of it's kind of subsided a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, well, I'll get I'll get to it. I'll get okay. to it. Yeah. Throw it up. So wait, this also has Uzi on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this is this is Uzi and Cardi versus Uzi and Cardi. Yeah, I like that. Genius bracketology by <laughs> Dr. Grant. <laughs> Walk up with my tooly, what they do? Meet me in the alley with the- I'll, I'll do, I'll do my shooter thing. Yeah, I, I'm go gonna ahead. ruin it for some people. I'm gonna ruin the song. But next time you listen to shooter, when Cardi comes in, imagine Lil Skies singing it. It just sounds like Lil Skies. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this song. It's yeah. one of the goaded ones. Yeah. But it sounds exactly like Lil Skies for some reason. <laughs> and once you think about it, it just- makes life worse. Well, this song already exists in like a different context for me. Even on Die Lit, it feels separate from the album to a me. A little yeah. bit, yeah. But it's such a good pop rap party song. Oh yeah. And I love it on its own, but it doesn't feel as like cool or stylish as the other Cardi songs, I even agree. from the Die Lit era. It's the build and payoff and shoot it that is just so crazy. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't even drop until Cardi comes in and yeah. like Uzi's whole verse is on a build up. And it's very different. Like there was a yeah. time where I was like, I wish Uzi wasn't on this song. I wish it was just the Cardi part. I agree. Now, now I've grown to love both parts, but they even feel separate from each other in a certain yeah. way. It's it's whatever. I love that song. Yeah. All right, now we got "Stop Breathing" versus "Looking." Oh, I was about to take my shirt off. My favorite delivery on Whole Lot of Red of any song, I think. This is like a, you know, Final Four kind of song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Just, ever since my brother died, I take my shirt off and I'll, like just him breathing excites a crowd. Everyone's going. I think it says something too that that song can be beaten so easily because that is one of the better ones off the self-titled. It's okay to me. All right, home, KOD, and meh. Bring that money on, daddy waiting for it. Bring that money on, daddy waiting for it. I mean, that is like top 
two on this album for me. I love that song. It's dark and so sad. This is like a mood he hasn't really tapped back into either. Wait, I mean, this explosive. one's sick. Yeah, it's so this good. This one's sick. This is kind of, I don't know, a good matchup. It is a good matchup, and <laughs> Mez so explosive, but it's the emotion in home that keeps me on that side. Yeah, Mez has like steadily gone up my ranks of like a whole lot of Red songs, but it can't beat home for no. me. No, it's a great one though. I want to give it its its shout out to any meth fans that are sure. watching this, because that, that is a very good song. All right, now we got number nine versus Mileage. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. One of the early at doors of entry for me. Yeah. I mean, you had that doorstop wiggly dingly <laughs> sound in there. It's like ethereal trap Monte Booker beat. The way it's got zips and zaps and zings mm. and zangs in there. It is a weird beat and it has grown on me a yeah. lot. Like even from going back and listening, I was like, damn, number nine is really fire. The flow is locked in. The problem is it's a guy who works out five times a week fighting a tiger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, man, you're shredded, but this thing is born to kill. <laughs> I have oh a crazy mileage bias. Top four Cardi song for me, probably. I love this song. And just conceptually, like what the song is about is just so cool. Yeah. It's like him being like, hey, you know, I don't care that, you know, you, you've you been around the block. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, that's fine to say. Like, yeah. I don't care that you've been around the block. Yeah. I, I value you for who you are and I'm, I'm not gonna look at you in that sort of superficial misogynistic lens. You yeah, know, it's, yeah. it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Cardi and, walked so Drake could run as our feminist hero. Yes. I don't think Drake yeah. is running as a feminist hero. I he don't. literally said, he spent half, half a million on these hoes, I'm a feminist. <laughs> and then he stood up against the ruling of the Supreme Court against <laughs> Roe v. Wade. Oh, that is true. He's kind of undergone a, a bit of an arc on that recent album. Kind of. I mean, he literally says, the guys who never got pussy in school. Making decisions for women. About what they could do with their, their bodies. bodies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys said, I mean, he's literally like, 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 like a savior. savior. <laughs> he's like, a, he's like he's the saint savior. of women. Oh, I'm in like a fever dream right now. I mean, I mean it's, it's true. true. I just yeah. went out and bought some flashbangs, so right. let's get mileage. <laughs> Chief <laughs> keeps verse two. Oh my yeah. God. Looking for me, I'm a sex fit. Avenue. Now we got Rockstar Maid versus Young Zanho. Very close one here. I got some bad shit. I got some bad shit. No, no too much. <laughs> Wow, the standout on first listen. It might have five hooks. It's got the never too much. It's got the rock star me. I'm gonna say something right now. Say it. The live version of Whole Lot of Red with the with the crazy like over the top guitars and he just comes out and screams on it and shit is so crazy that like Cardi, if you're watching this, I'm not sure if you're. I think Cardi's more tapped into like internet shit than people give him credit for. Like yeah. he's very self aware and like funny about his shit. So if you're watching this, drop a live version on the anniversary of Whole Lot of Red. Yeah. Drop Drop, drop that live album because that's going to be like a cult classic. We saw him at Rolling Loud do that set. Yeah. yeah. He only did five songs because he came out like a half hour late. Yeah. But there were four trucks parked on stage. He is performing on top of them and all everybody's out there. All, the, all of his crew is out there smashing the trucks with bats <laughs> while he's performing. And then there is a guitarist out there and every single song had an intro and outro that was pure authentic black metal. Yeah. Like yeah. no joke. It was like actual actual black metal and he's just shrieking. You know, it feels like yeah. when you read the Latin backwards on that old book you found in the basement and like a gate to hell opens up and a little <laughs> demon comes out and you're like, wait, what the fuck? And he's like, ah! and you're like, Jesus, I can't stop. No. You say to the demon, you're like, hey, can you please do flatbread freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> flatbread freestyle. Flatbread freestyle. Flat freestyle. Yeah, Subway. Subway. <laughs> Subway's gotta do it. If you like this, your nostalgia is lying to you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shout out to Lil Xan though, for real. <laughs> Lil Xan, if you're watching this, uh, please release a live version of Betrayed. I think it really recontextualizes <laughs> oh, yeah. the song for a lot of people. Now we got Hofa Show versus Vamp Anthem. Put that bitch up on the bus, I told her get the butt. Got it all, yeah, Hofa Show. Insanely catchy. Crazy beat, too. Crazy beat. Yeah. I won't take my time, bitch, you know I'm ready. I want it right now, little bitch, you know I'm ready. Go! Makes me want to suck your blood. Yeah. I picture him just his collar popped up on an organ, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of gargoyles in a church with an upside down crucifix. It also does literally sample like the classic. Yeah. 
I guess I have a hot take that I don't think Van Bantam is that good. I, I love it. I'm, I would put Hope a Show through, but yeah, I, I don't really care t- about either of these songs, if I'm being honest. So do whatever you want. I mean, it's Van Bantam for me handily. Right. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like it's like a cute song. It's kind of funny. Cute? Like, He's going was, Nosferatu I listen to it. I'm like, I'm like, this is like a cute little quirky song. Oh! You know what I'm All right, we got R.I.P. Fredo versus Do That Shit. Not that easy. No, not that not easy. Not that easy of a matchup. Yeah, hitting that boy with the fire. Ooh, nigga didn't know it's me. Yeah, I'm hitting that bitch with the fire. It might be, might be pretty easy, actually. If someone cracked my back right now, I'm afraid I'd have like the craziest acid flashback. <laughs> Those bells in that song specifically take me to a dark psychedelic place. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready to go back. That one's cool. Yeah, the hook is really good, but I just feel like it, it drags on a little bit. I'll go riff right on this. I will too. Yeah, same. All right, now we got Cash Ship versus Chopper Won't Miss. <laughs> If I'm a bitch, then I'm a baddest bitch. K, 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 B. That beat is crazy, and you know, it's the the famous, if I'm a bitch, then I'm a baddest bitch. <laughs> you yeah. know? Like, that's like yeah. one of the most famous Cardi quotes ever. Holy I don't smart. like that. I don't think you should do that. You didn't like that? No. Chopper won't miss though. I will say, I mean, I like the Young Thug verse a lot. You get that like high register Young Thug yes. feature that you, like that era of Young Thug was like, you couldn't miss. It's not one of my favorites on Die Lit though. I don't really go back to that one that much. Yeah, I, I, I honestly could go either way. I don't feel too strongly on either of these kind of like the most recent matchups. Maybe just for fun, I'll, I'll throw Cash it. <laughs> yeah, I'll go Chopper though. I'd rather yeah, listen yeah, to th- that yeah, one. Yeah, throw that one through. Handily yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you love that. That song. That one makes me go berserk. Now we got New Chopper versus Sky. Last one on the first side. Good matchup. That one's gas. Yeah. Dude, New Chopper's crazy. It honestly sounds like Tyler did the synths on it. Yeah. Yeah, like early odd future mm-hmm. synths on the yeah. Cardi song, but S- sounds like you're locked in an insane asylum. I told my boy go like team blends one. I told my boy go like team blends one. This is probably my hottest Cardi take. I think that Sky is like the most overrated Cardi song ever. I think he does Sky on Die Lit like eight times better. Yes, and it's just because Sky was the song that was what people wanted from Cardi uh-huh. leading into it that it matched their expectations, and they're like, yeah more of this even though the experimentation on whole lot of red is much more exciting and better i um, didn't think i'd say this today but i really agree with that yeah <laughs> with what you just said yeah that's my, that's my hot take on it i can agree to an extent if i'm looking at it analytically yes but if i'm like gonna play a song in my car i'd rather listen to sky than new choppa i respect know? that so yeah. i'm picking sky choppa I wish I didn't have to do tough stuff like this. It's Sky. Whoa, what? I agreed with what you said, but I am one of those people that still had so much appetite for shit that sounded like Die Lit. And so when he gave it back to me, I was like, yeah, fuck it. I could do 40 more of these tracks. Can I make an argument? Please. Nothing else in the Cardi discography really sounds like New Chopper. It gives you the energy of that. The ASAP Rocky (laughs) feature on that is so special. You could get what you want out of Sky in so many other songs that Cardi has made, but New Chapa is original. Will you flip it for me? You're right. You're right. I will flip it. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm happy. Really I'm happy with that too. As yeah. someone who picks Sky, I'm yeah. happy to see New Chapa move on. And I'm, like, I'm not sure if that'll be a po- I, maybe this is the one that the fans start start turning <laughs> on me because I know people love Sky. Of course. That's just my my thoughts on it. I don't okay. know. All right. Let's move on to the second side. Let's do it. By the way, I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me to to join you on this channel. <laughs> We got R.I.P. versus Yamin. This is funny. This is a <laughs> funny matchup. This is like, you know, getting the, uh, ch- uh, what what year is the Chicago Bulls good? 96? 95. Any of the 90s. Getting any of the 90 Chicago Bulls to play a, a three-year-old, just a single three-year-old. <laughs> no mercy. Dennis Rodman on the box out. Yeah. Oh! I still think Pippen's interpersonal problems would at least, it'd be a close game. Yeah. <laughs> I need fucking a stock, yeah. Big start, click. One of the best Cardi songs ever. Top four, easily. Cardi won a ball with a chin. Money sent tall, y'all mean. What? 
Yeah. Not bad. I was being a little too much of a hater. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. means like going to the local amusement park and RIP is like taking a three month European vacation. <laughs> <laughs> One's like a fun day and the other is a life changing experience. Like, yeah. <laughs> love having you here. Just like I gotta no say, problem. gotta say, love what you add to the show. It's really, <laughs> really incredible stuff. Thank All you. right, now we got Place versus Woke Up Like This, which is a, like a four year old playing the Chicago Bulls, I in my know. opinion. I mean, maybe it's an eight or nine year old. I think it's an 11 year old with handles. <laughs> <laughs> this is my least favorite on Whole Lot of Red. I'm, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's just so boring. Compared to everything else, it also doesn't have that new delivery, but yeah. it feels like it just comes and goes. I'm just kind of like, it's fine. It has some catchy little clever lyrics and shit, but. Woke up to niggas sounding like me, talk. Woke up to niggas talking like me. Talk. I'm a rock star. I mean, it's <laughs> undeniable too. Like, yeah. it's one of those that feels too obvious and it's like, whatever. It would be sick to have a hot take that's like, woke up like this is not that good. But it it's pretty good. It's amazing. That's my opinion. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I get it. But like, it's still really fun. To it's infectious. To. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah let's move it, move it to the next round though. Flatbed freestyle versus arm and leg. Good Boom. luck, arm and leg. <laughs> I'm fitting bitch and gave it back. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not coming back out. I like that one. I mean, it is it's, really it's good. Like, it's ethereal, it's cool, little chimes in it. It's a little like a stumbly. Like it's mm -hmm. a song that stumbles around in an endearing way. Yeah. yeah. But it is flatbed freestyle. Yeah. Yes, and I really want a flat bread right now. Now we got control versus foreign. Ooh. Foreign mm. control. TikTok. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Let's talk about it less now. Okay. Girl, I've been losing control. 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 I love all the new delivery shit on Whole Lot of Red, and this one feels like it's just a little off the rails for me. <laughs> I yeah. thought that was going to be my hot take here, but yeah, there's like almost too much going on. I'll reserve my thoughts till we hear the next song. Very respectable. I've been that motherfucking form, and that motherfucker be wrong. Big gun, big yes, on. All right, here are my thoughts. Okay. Sure. Only one of these songs does DJ Academics talk for a minute in it. That's true. So you guys know how I feel about DJ <laughs> Academics. Control, move over, golden ticket. Yeah. No, control is like fine. Yeah, yeah. Foreign's flow really stands out. And the way he enunciates, roar, is very exciting. It has one of those beats that as soon as it drops, it just hooks you instantly. You're like, oh, fuck. And you drive a foreign whip, so. That is true. Yeah, you um, do. Volkswagen. <laughs> All right, now we got over versus fell in love. This one's tough. Yeah. Sometimes this shit gets so exciting. We ride around, we I think this is the best one of the ones that kind of felt like what people wanted from Cardi before mm, Whole Lot of Red yeah. is on Whole Lot of Red. I mean, this feels like long time home. It has the yearning kind of synth sadness the, baked into the it. The drowsy beat. Yeah. yeah. Show me love. Like, give me love. Fell in love. I fell in love. I, I really do like that one. Yeah, me I, too. Uh, and uh, we will never forget the Minecraft parody, Fell in Lava. Do you remember all the, uh, you probably weren't even tapping into that. I don't know anything there about that. There was a Minecraft. bunch of mine. y'all type the W's in the chat if you remember this. The guy who was making all of the really surprisingly good Cardi covers that were about Minecraft of, of uh, Die Lit. Yeah, some real classics. I'll take Fell in Love though, just on its own. I think it's a cooler song. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Fell in Love, but it's close for me. Yeah. Wow, now we got Beef versus Go To Demo. Moon. This is a weirdly tough one. Oh shit, shit, shit. Who got beef with me? Got beef with me? I got niggas in the streets to seven. Yes, for me. Classic. I mean, legendary. Was on our SoundCloud Classics bracket too. Absolutely. If you haven't seen that, check that out on our channel. <laughs> This is one of those songs that I was listening to when it came out type shit, and I thought I was cooler than everybody. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And now it's not special, but... You're still special. Nah, not anymore. That's one thing you learn when you guys grow up. You think you're special, and you learn that you're not, and you've sort of just been bred to exist in a corporate machine that is the, uh, w you know, whatever country you live in. Wrong. Um, you can be special within the corporate machine, and it's actually pretty <laughs> awesome, and you can get a nice apartment like mine. You're a shill, bro. Yeah. H&R Block. Makes taxes easy. <laughs> Blocks got your back. Yo, I've been avoiding you. Yay, Jesus gang, you correct. He has some crazy lines on this on this verse. Yeah. He has the one, uh, born in the <laughs> A, you can in peach, yay. Because Georgia the brief, peaches. So, the case so brief, don't bring your briefcase. <laughs> this is a very fun song to listen to. I love listening to it. It is a blue balls ass song. Ed Gene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? 
But beef, so iconic. It's got to win. I know you're saying you've got some hot take or something. I'm, I'm picking beef. I'll pick beef, too. Well, doesn't matter what I say, but I would have easily picked go to the moon. Okay. Interesting. I got a question for you guys. Sure. Would you rather have unlimited beef for the rest of your life or go to the moon once? I'll have unlimited beef. And I survive going to the moon? Yep. It's like a luxury trip. Boom. I'm <sighs> going to the moon. Here's the deal, guys. They haven't found anything up there. <laughs> I thought you were about to say they haven't found the moon. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know where it is. <laughs> they keep going right at it, and then they get there and they're like, what the, where the fuck is it? No, it's just like, you know, it's just like a weird white rock up there. <laughs> like you're just going to go up there and just kind of like walk around for a second and be like, oh, this is weird. Unlimited beef. I'd save so much cash. Yeah. But you think about your cholesterol. Here's the thing. I already talk so much shit. I have unlimited beef. <laughs> tell him, tell him, man. Talk your shit, man. Fuck you, KSI. And if. <laughs> I'm NF's my next person I'm going to beef with. NF, NF get fuck you, fucked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck yourself. I know you're from around here in Michigan, and I respect that you're putting on for the state, but fuck <laughs> you if you beef with my boy. I mean, he's not going to beef with me. I just think he's, like, bad. Yeah. I liked the rehearsal, but... The rehearsal? <laughs> I love you, I hate you versus lean for real. Why are these two against each other? Yeah, this first is really round? Tough. Fuck. Grant's petting that cat again. Ah, uh, he's petting the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about dying my hair red, just a lot like a pattern red. I like all of my cups so dirty that I've been sipping that black. See, I always thought he said, I've been thinking about dying my hair red just to look like a pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like that a little <laughs> just bit. Just to look like a pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> God, that song is so good. That's like top it's five on a whole lot of red yeah. for me. I mean, it's like the pad, that heavy oh. synth pad in here. <laughs> Sinister. Had to go bird's eye view. <laughs> yeah, I did. Gotta, <laughs> no, I can't dab you up. Had to go super sane, Shed like a computer game. <laughs> like, it's just like different. I am actually very conflicted about Me this too. one. And we have been really, unfortunately, biased away from Whole lot of Red just so the way the bracket is lined up. Yeah. So with sort of grading it for a curve to try and be nicer to whole lot of red. I kind of want to take I love you, I hate you, even though Lean For Real is one of my favorites. You can set this bracket up however you want. I'm biased towards Die Lit. I do think it was set up different. We'd have more whole lot of red songs moving on though. Because I love you, I hate you beats like anything that I even see on the screen right now, mm. except for Lean For Real. I'm kind of conflicted too, because I really, if it weren't for Skepta, I'm not even considering Lean For Real being better. Then I love you, I hate you. Yeah. Like I love Cardi's part. I love that song, but Skepta's verse takes it to a new level. It almost comes down to whatever song I heard last. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how good both of them are. Yeah. Full disclosure, we just listened to both songs almost in full, yeah. trying to decide what to do here. Grant, what do you think? I think I love you, I hate you is the best on Whole Lot of Red. I don't think Lean For Real is the best on Dial It, so I would take I love you, I hate you personally. It's lean for real for me. <laughs> I'll go lean for real. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do then. Now we got Broke Boy versus Slayer. Hey, hold on. Of red gets a W. Whoa. Broke Boy is like considered like one of the best Cardi songs ever. I mean, it's a classic. Yeah. It's just like old Cardi delivery. So it's like harder for me to like love it the same way I like new shit. But as an aged great, it's kind of like one of those, you know, classic movies from the 1950s where you're like, whoa, like this did a lot for film. But, you know, eh. I remember when we did the SoundCloud classics bracket, we had just filmed it. And then Graham from Snow Strippers was at my house and I told him that we did it. And then he was like, oh, did Broke Boy win? And I was like, Broke Boy wasn't even on the bracket. And he's like, oh, well, that's the best SoundCloud song of all time. <laughs> and I was like, damn, I didn't realize it was like that for a lot of people. It is really good, actually. It mm -hmm. is quite good. Whole lot of mob shit. Whole lot of mob shit. One of my favorites off that album. Oh, that beat is crazy. Yeah. It's just like one you wouldn't expect to be there yeah. with like the high yeah. register bells and shit. Like it's just sick. Damn. It's Slayer for me. Same here. Whoa. All right. Well, like nothing I do. <laughs> I'll vote for Broke Boy. <laughs> do you, do you want to die on that hill? I won't die on the hill. All right. Now we got Pissy Pamper versus Lame Guys. Pissy Pamper. <laughs> why did they that yeah, fucking why, title? Why do they have to do that to us? Yeah. She wanted me cutty. That bitch is a baby. I'm gonna fuck the house. I'm gonna send that Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi. That one's like a top four for me. That's like Period. the best leak for me. Easy. That's I remember it was called Kid Cudi before. Yeah, I liked it, it more. Everybody was, was just Kid like, Cudi. oh, like Kid Cudi by Cardi. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it was going to be a young nudie song called Pissy Pamper, and everybody just started calling it that. I see you walking with that lame nigga. I heard you stalling with a lame nigga. Love the roars. This was one of those 
were, you know, when you looked at a Playboy Cardi tight beat yeah. on YouTube in 2018, you got those roars and it just sent you to a new dimension, you know? Mm. Yeah. But then you got mileage, which did it the best. Yeah. This is like a predecessor. <laughs> no, totally. Those roars are loud. I yeah. love the dynamics of the ad libs in this too. Definitely like a sign of what was to come on Die Lit. I mean, it's like just a little too staccato for me. Like it's, I like that song, mm -hmm. but it's like middle of the pack on self-titled yeah. and Pissy Pamper is like easily the best leak. That feels like the one leak that I've constantly wanted. Throw that on to the next one. Now we got No Sleep versus Right Now. Ooh, shit. When I go to sleep, I dream about murder. I can't go nowhere without my drink. Yeah. What a song. Yeah. Every song, he's got three things that stick with people that could be their own like TikTok thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not that I don't think he goes in the studio being like, I'm going to make three TikTok songs. No, no. But it's like just very infectious and nobody else could do it because it's the way that he delivers it that makes it just so fucked up that you just want to listen to it again because it just sounds like nobody else doing it. You know? Yeah. Nah, right now. Nah, right now. That's got the pure born feature too. Trying to CPA right now. I'm going no sleep on this one. Right now is like bottom tier dial it for me. <sighs> That's a bad take that it's bottom tier dial it, but I think no sleep's probably better. Yeah. yeah. And I will take no sleep, but right now is like. You know, it's great. I just really love dial it, and there's other songs that I prefer. Now we got on that time versus ouch yeah. Okay. Oh, easy. So fucking good. <laughs> First listen to Whole Lot of Red. That's my that's my favorite one. Still my favorite one on Whole Lot of Red. Goaded the song. Yeah, yeah. that song's in crazy. Fucking Zane. Yeah, if you locked me in a room and played that for me for like two days, I think I'd come out and I'd do a lot of arson. D R A C O. Every day my birthday. So I made a wish. <laughs> This one sounds even more like Lil Xan. Yeah, I was say, it reminds me of something. Or he's just listening to a bunch of ASAP Rocky, but it's uh, it's on that time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Feels like a song that could be banned in certain places. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got Molly slash Not Real Ooh. versus Flex. This one is fucked up. Damn. Do you yeah. remember this one? No, that's crazy. You, you want to give it a full listen yeah, just so Riley gets it? Yeah, listen. yeah. yeah. That one's so crazy. <laughs> Damn, that could win the bracket. Loki. <laughs> that's just crazy. Dude, it's one of the best ones. That's like yeah. one of that's like if somebody designed a Playboy Cardi song for me. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like has it's like witch house yeah. elements. It's that fucking SpongeBob meme with the headphones where he's ascending into the ceiling. Like, that <laughs> yeah. is that song. <laughs> It's gonna be Molly, but I do like Flex. I like Flex. Molly wins though. Yes. Yes. Molly always wins, especially the next day. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're good at doing this. Thank you, I told you. <laughs> this next matchup is, I'm gonna actually have to leave the video. We got Die For Guy versus Fetty. One of them can't lose, and if it does, I'm gonna be upset. I'm not gonna leave the video, I'm gonna deal with it. Okay, whatever, yeah, we'll power through. This one for all my guys. This one for the ride of dice. God. Banger. Bottom five on a whole lot of red for I, me. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Mid tier. Captain, get me out of Houston. Fetty on Fetty on Fetty. I can't go in, I ain't ready. I can't go in, I ain't ready. I'd flip a cop car to that MFR. We used to say that when we would be freestyling. Yeah. We would freestyle and we just go. Ready. Like if we didn't know what to do, we'd go Fetty on Fetty on Fetty. I can't go in, I ain't ready. Yeah. That wasn't with me though. I never freestyled. I'm glad I've never been in the room with you freestyling. We freestyle a lot. No, we, we don't. We don't. We do. We don't. We don't. That's how you wrote your last album. Nope. Was us freestyling. That's not true. It's not true. Uh -huh. Nope. You did not. We did the Ouija the board nope. and then we did That's like the, we blew up, like we had the candles going nope. and stuff. We did a seance and then I was kind of like, what if we did this one from like the perspective of a ghost? You didn't and say I that. Like, it's I was not like, true. I was like, no, wait a minute. Let's flip the idea of grief on its head. Let's reverse grief. Okay. Let's not grieve someone who has died. Let's be the person who died is grieving the people who are alive and he can't get to him. He's like, ah. Merv, Merv, kind of interstellar vibes. I and thought then, that album was about drugs. Is that a ghost? Yeah, it's from the perspective of a ghost. It was kind of like a, a pretty crazy idea we came up with me and him. I thought that shit was about smoking and chilling. It's Fetty. I just left Houston. All right, we got old money versus firearm. How many more fucking matchups are in this? <laughs> it's old money. Move on. Move on. <laughs> oh man, no hope. Oh, oh. Yeah, that yeah. synth line is crazy. Yeah, I mean, song. what a hook, too. I can't believe someone like hadn't said that really before. Old money. New hooks. <laughs> <laughs> the money is old. I've been done, had it. 
but the women I'm hanging out with, they're new to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> That's catchy. I would squat. I would squat. This song is like a Mario Kart level yeah. right on the island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we got middle of the summer versus feel like dying. I'm so what excited. The fuck? I'm in the hood with niggas on bottom. Me started five hundred my car to get shot. Shot it gon' fall. Shot it gon' swallow me. I'm in the hood with Young Cardi riding around with top down. It's a great yeah. song, but uh, I mean, it's going up against feel like dying. So. That yeah, it's scary. I done met different type of girls. I done been all across the world! It's middle of summer wait, for me. Wait, Now it's time to show them what I learned! We've been doing that all week, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. All week. <laughs> Us. Me and, and Riley. Ben. Not him. Not Grandpa on the camera. Just, just me, me and, and Riley. Ben. Everywhere we go, we sing that. We meet strangers. They say, how oh, it's so nice to meet you. Da, da, da. We go, I am different types of girls! Yeah, that's right. Bony Vare. Sample. <laughs> Heartbreaking. Beautiful. Triumphant. Euphoric. Funny. Cardi is very, he's a funny guy. People don't give him his credit for being self-aware and funny. People think he's just accidentally funny. He's very purposefully funny. That's the GOAT. Top three on Whole lot of Red <laughs> and the different types of grrr, that shit, whatever he did there, that changed everything. <laughs> that changed my life. I'm not like, joking, that changed everything. Yeah. That's not even like, I'm being 0% facetious. I'm being 0% sarcastic. No irony, deep latent irony somewhere in that. Talk to I'm him. Like legitimately mean that, it changed Everything. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's feel like dying. Yeah. We can find out. We can find out. We can find out. Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Now we got Beano versus Magnolia. Last one in the first round. <laughs> All right. Come on. I pick you up, nigga. I get you. I said I don't fuck these niggas. We see on the punch on them niggas. That's top three on that album for me. Are you serious? I love that song. Maybe my favorite on first listen and stuck with me. I don't know. It has a great atmosphere. In New York, I've been wrong. I did in my side. You said Sarah, you're wrong. Run in front of cop. It's a classic. I'm, uh, if you don't jump for Magnolia, you're you're on crack. Even though I know maybe you want to be like, okay, Bino's underappreciated, yada yada yada. Come on. It is Bino for me. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. Magnolia is it's great, but it's just fine now. You found Bino in the next round? No. Yeah, it's Magnolia. But I was building suspense for the yeah. audience. If you didn't put Magnolia, I would have to golden ticket it. I'm I don't even feel super strongly yeah. about Magnolia. Like it's it, I, there was a time where it was like incredible to me and it was one of my favorites. It's grown off me a bit just because of how much it's I've heard it and it's kind of been played out. You yeah. Know? But it's just you gotta move it to the next round. It's against fucking Bino. All right, second round. We made it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no clips anymore. We're just going through it. We got location versus no time. No time for me. And this is where what? I can give my hot take on location. I wish he got that beat later. Amazing beat. His delivery does almost nothing for me on that song. It's good, but it's not great. And no time. Actually, I I, I like much more. I'm golden ticketing location. That's fine. I, I yeah. figured you would do that. Location is considered one of the best Cardi songs ever. I feel that. It's just the beat does everything for me and his delivery. I just wish he got it later. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think he would have done a better job I, with it later. I don't disagree with you. I just think it's a it's a special song and no time isn't as special to me. All right, now we got Love Hurts versus Kelly K. Kelly K. Love Hurts. Love Hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly K better and everybody knows it. But I it would have really broken my heart to have location versus Kelly K in the yeah. next round. Now we got Teen X versus Long Time. Long Time. Long Time. Okay. Oh. Oh, thank you. There we go. Yeah. I thought I heard you babbling about how Teen X was one of your favorite songs ever. It's not one of my favorites ever, but it's one of my favorites on Pull Out of Red, but Long Time is one of my favorites on Dial It, and it's just another special one. Skeleton versus Shooter. 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 See, second round going easy. Yeah. I think I think we're going to get to the tough ones, but for now, it's yeah. going smoothly. Stop Breathing versus Home. Stop Breathing, 100%. Home for me, 100%. Come on, Riley. You know it's Stop Breathing. I'm building suspense. Okay. It's a lot to think about here. Don't do it, Riley. You don't know do what it. I mean? Please don't do it. A lot of people to think about. You know, got a lot of friends on both sides here. Good people on both sides, by the way. <sighs> Fuck. He's pandering. Oh, no. I'm somewhere in the middle on this one. And oh. I don't want people to think that I took this decision lightly. He's tiptoeing around it. There are parts of each bill <sighs> that I like. Yes. I respect you people with either opinion here. All sure. right, that's good. Come on. Yeah, it's stop breathing. Thank you. Oh, oh fuck. That's a fucked up matchup. We that's got nice. mileage versus Rockstar Made. Mileage, baby. It does feel more special to me, so I'm gonna, I'll pick mileage, but I love Rockstar Made. Oh, that is like, I love both those songs so much. They're probably both like top eight Cardi 
party yeah, for me. Yeah. But mileage just has to take it. I think so. Vamp Anthem versus R.I.P. Fredo. Ooh. I'm gonna go Fredo on this one. I go Vamp on this. Really? I'd rather listen to Vamp Anthem than R.I.P. Fredo. I think I agree with you. Again, I don't really f- feel strongly about either of these. Why can one of these go against Kelly Gay? <laughs> I don't know. Now it's Choppa Won't Miss versus New Choppa. Oh! <laughs> Choppa versus Choppa. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm going... New I'm, Choppa. Yeah, I'm going New Choppa on this one. Nice. I'm going Choppa Won't Miss, but... Well, Riley and I are better, so we pick New Choppa. All right, second side of the second round, we got R.I.P. versus Woke Up Like This. R.I.P. Easy. Yeah. Lee. Flatbed freestyle versus foreign. Flatbread. Flatbread Flat freestyle. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Finally, we're getting some dialets versus some dialets. Yeah. And that'll get interesting. Fell in love versus beef. It's beef. Fell in love for me. Come on. Beef, beef is, is nostalgic and great. No, beef is better to listen to right now. If it's it not. both came out today, it's I would not. listen to beef. It's not better. It is. Right the, now. It's not. For, to me, it is. It's better. No, it's not. It is. Can each of you like give me some sort of compliment for like like I'm gonna pick huge cock. Cool. I love that. Go ahead. Um you try really hard. Fell in love with. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You just kicked out beef for fell in love? Yes. Y'all are on crack. Brayson Tiller for three. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Lean For Real versus Slayer. I really do love the beat on Slayer. Me too. But it's Lean For Real. It lean is. For Real is like, takes you out of your body. Which I've been trying to escape for a long time. Oh, it's <laughs> tough, brother. <laughs> yeah. We got some uh, horse stuff you might be interested in. Horse stuff? Yeah. <laughs> like Trankies? All right, uh, Pissy Pamper versus No Sleep. Come on, this is Pissy Pamper. We all know. Fuck! It. Can we call it something else? It's Kid Cudi. We all, all right, know. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm changing it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the title. Yeah, oh, shit. Me too. It makes me shiver. I'm right, also going to change it to white. I want to be able to see it a little better. Get in there. Get away from me. <laughs> Sorry. Everywhere now, I go, I get paper. Now we got on that. No! <laughs> and it's going to be okay. No! <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. <laughs> On that time. I heard Molly Not Real for the first time about 10 minutes ago, <laughs> and I'm picking Molly Not Real. No. It's awesome, but again, like as like a music aficionado, um, I have to go with the finished product that the artist intended to be out. All right, yeah. Fetty versus Old Money. Ooh, This whoa. is tough for me. This is like my childlike self fighting my adult self. You were never even a child when either of these songs came out. I hope you know that. Some of us can still get in touch with our inner child, you cold, calloused monster. <laughs> Talk to him. You withered, jaded beast of a man you've become. Some of us still have that sparkle behind our eyes. Own. Hey, I keep calling him. He just won't pick up. You know what I mean? Um, it's Fetty for me. I'm going Fetty as well. Well, doesn't matter what I think. <laughs> now it's Feel Like Dying versus Magnolia. Oh, we get to like piss people off now. Oh, I mean, it's easily it's feel, feel Like, like dying. dying for me. It's not even like a close one. Would you take Magnolia? No, I wouldn't, but... Just one for the road. You've never yeah. been that good at Millie Rocking. I can gritty you to sleep, bro. That's true. You can gritty me to sleep, but... Yeah, I mean, you, Millie Rock, and I, Gritty. And Ben makes uh, art house music. We all got our It's called Folktronica. (laughs) Third round. All right, location versus love hurts. Location. Love hurts. Yeah, it's love hurts. No! (laughs) It's love hurts, buddy. If if you played them back to back right now, I guarantee you, you would change your mind. Well, we're not going to do that. And Uh, I like love hurts. Uh, Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Imagine that intro. I just kind of sided with you off rip because I like you so much. And you are very touchy feely, and I really like that. Yeah, it's but, my number um, one love language. Yes, and according that's to awesome. my partners. And mine is acts of service. That's why I go to the soup kitchen every weekend. But that aside, imagine it. I know I am, and that's where I went. Hold up. I'm going to go back on my word. That's fine. Let's pick a location. Let's go. Long time versus oh. Shooter. Oh. It's long time for me, but I'm not upset either way. Shoot is great, yeah. but it is kind of that two part. It's awesome, but long time as a singular package is just better. <laughs> long time does that thing to my neck where I'm like, yeah, like this. And Shoot it kind of does that thing to like, like that. <laughs> the backside. The backside. A little You're bit. the bottom neck. 
So, so you're going a long time? Yeah. I'm with that. I, I feel sad that we're letting Shooter go. It is. It, it is one of the most masterful Cardi songs. Yeah. I mean, it is the best Little Sky song ever. Yeah. <laughs> but Shooter is like the uh, Mo Bamba sicko mode of, yeah. of, of Cardi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we got Stop Breathing versus Mileage. It's Mileage for me. It's Stop Breathing. Oh, wait. It's kind of hard, but I'm going Stop Breathing. I think Stop Breathing is incredible, but I love Mileage and I'm sad to see it go. I'm not upset either way here, so let's just put all this pressure on Riley and kind of sit back and relax, you and me. I think this is going to surprise some people. I'm going to go Stop Breathing on this one. I don't necessarily think I like Stop Breathing more, but I do think it's a better, more important song. Everybody in the chat condolences to Mileage. Awesome. Now we got Vamp Anthem versus New Choppa. I'm going New Choppa. Yeah, you're going to hate what I have to say. I'm not, I don't feel strongly about either of them, but I think it's better. I'm going Vamp Anthem on this. Me too. You want Vamp Anthem? Yeah, me too. It's just not that good. A new job is better. I don't think this is like a strong part of the bracket, this no, little section no. right here, but I would rather listen to Vamp Anthem than New Chopper right now today. R.I.P. versus Flatbed Freestyle. Whip, baby. R.I.P. Easily. Yeah, Flatbed Freestyle is like up there for me. And so since I don't have an opinion here, I will just speak my piece. Fell in love versus lean for real. It's lean for real. Lean for, lean real. for real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got a little lucky break there. Yeah. Kid Cudi versus on that time. Oh, this one sucks. It's dude. Kid Cudi for me. It's on that time. It's on that time for me. Respect. Yeah. Respect. It goes too hard. Kid Cudi is great. And I'm sure I know that it's like a fan favorite and there's probably going to be Cardi fans upset about this, but y'all can understand that this is a very, this is, this is a final matchup. Like if this yeah. was the last two, yeah. it would still be a tough one. Yeah. Um, I told my, I made the decision a long time ago that Kid Cudi was going to be the leak I fought for. So yeah. I was doing my due diligence. And if I died in the line of fire, I did it proudly. Acts of service. Yeah. Exactly. Like you said. Yeah. Acts of service. That's why you love the veterans so much. Thank you guys. Fetty versus versus feel like dying. This isn't even close for me. It's close for me. I'm sure it is. You love Fetty more than anybody I've ever met. Yeah. So I'll go dying on this one. Feel like dying. Yeah. I actually feel like dying. <laughs> oh. uh, don't do it's it. Okay, oh. buddy. It's okay. We're down to our Elite Eight. Location versus oh, Long Time. Oh, what the fuck? This is the two intros. I ain't felt like this in a long time. Yeah. Little black jean jacket. It has V loan on it. Uh, Got a badass bitch. She's trying, trying to, to fuck me and my homies. <laughs> <laughs> Long time. Jordy, want to suck till the morning? I personally would go location because of the nostalgia, but I'll, I won't be upset. Those, this is a very tough matchup of two very similar songs that yeah. both yeah. scratch a similar itch for me. So whatever y'all want to do, I'm with it. Now we got Stop Breathing versus Vamp Anthem. Easiest one in the final eight. Yeah. Yeah. Stop breathing. Stop breathing. Yeah. Zip boop. Ah. All right, stop breathing to the final four. Now we got R.I.P. versus Lean for Real. Rip. Yeah. Yeah, it's R.I.P. It's yeah. R.I.P. It's a better sure. song. It's, uh, it's well, more well crafted. All right, now we got On That Time versus Feel Like Dying. On That Time. Feel Like Dying for me. It's Feel Like Dying for me too. I'll take the, aggr really? the aggressive On That Time. That's great, but Feel Like Dying is like legendary. Yeah. On That Time is looking like, like winner of the whole bracket. Well, but your golden ticket is gone. Charlie yeah. Bucket. <laughs> On That Time's like a sick car crash video and no. Feel Like Dying is like beautiful story your grandmother tells you. All right, final four. Here we go. This is the final <gasps> four. Name them out. Name them out. Long Time, Stop Breathing, R.I.P. and Feel Like Dying. Two whole lot of red songs, two die lit songs. Long Time versus Stop Breathing. Long Time for me. Stop Breathing. I think it's a better song in every way. Take My Shirt Off and Those Hoes Stop Breathing. Or Little Black Jean Jacket. It's got V loan on it. One is poetry, the other is obtuse. Do so you support V loan? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I support Cardi kind of normalizing the fact that a man of his stature can wear a little jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna go with stop breathing. That's fine. Respect. I love both of these though. Yeah. R.I.P. versus Feel Like Dying. Uh, I think Feel Like Dying has had a cute little fun run. I've enjoyed it. I love the song. It's a great one. But R.I.P. is a Cardi masterpiece. The Golden Goose. It it has the aggressive shit. It's like weirdly pretty. Like it's yeah. got a nice melodic thing to it. The lyrics are great when he's like, bought a crib from my mom off that mumbling shit. Every yeah. lyric is actually poignant. Like there's no filler bars in yeah. it, yeah. which is rare for a Cardi song. Feel Like Dying, I'm like, hey, that's cool. He's with Bon Iver and he yeah. sounds funny on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's R.I.P. for me as well. R.I.P.'s yeah. got that beef in its pockets. I had to do the oversell. <laughs> I had to do the oversell just to make sure. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's our final. Now, before we get to our opinions, I'm going to put a poll in the chat. Polls in the chat. Stop breathing or R.I.P. Best Cardi song on the Cardi bracket. 
Let us know what we left off. Let us know your favorite Cardi song. Speak your piece in the chat. Sound off on us. Let we, us know who's been the most reasonable. Definitely not Ben. I feel like I've been pretty, even when I've disagreed with you, except a few of them. I've, the things you said about my family off camera are unforgivable. This is a mental game. This is a competition. Again, it's not a game. And I need to make sure that I win so I can do my victory lap. We play a lot of yeah. games on the channel, but like this is not one of them. Yeah, the this is a game. So I, I can't win? No. no. So there's no point. I thought I'd been getting points. That's right. I, mean. I thought you've been tallying points all the time. That shit you said about my no. family, man. Like, that's crazy. Honestly, I wasn't even that it was mean. It's just how crazy accurate it all that's was. He doesn't really know them. He's never it's met like, your family. It's like he put in research to yeah, do that, yeah, to yeah, get yeah. under my skin. And sure, yeah, it works. I respect it. But I, like, I at what cost? It. Nah, I mean, it didn't cost much, probably. Probably free. I mean, it seems like he hired like a PI and everything. No, nah, I think he's just kind of, he's a sleuth. He's a bit of a sleuth himself. Yeah, I'm a sleuth. First of all, I'm, I think this is a great final two. Yeah. I'm happy with both of these, that they're both here. If either of them won, I would not le lose any sleep. I am kind of leaning towards RIP. Yeah. As well. Let's just lay it to rest right now. Yeah. It's R.I.P. It's yeah. R.I.P. for me. I feel like yeah. Stop Breathing is incredible. It's one of my favorite songs on Whole Lot of Red. Probably is my favorite on Whole Lot of Red. It started a whole new era. I think it's like the most influential album of the last five years. But R.I.P. as a song, that feels like the best Cardi song. I totally yeah, it's agree. It's got that sample. What song is it? It's like that Jodeci sample. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The little, the Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's nice <laughs> to kind of all agree. R.I.P. wins. R.I.P. wins. R.I.P. wins our Playboy Cardi bracket. Let us know what got left off. Let us know your favorite Cardi song. We want to thank Quadeca for joining us for the Playboy Cardi bracket. Thank you for having me. It was a fun time. I enjoyed talking about music with y'all. Mm -hmm. I think that that's something that we haven't done. We've played a lot of games. Played a lot of games, And yeah. this was a, it was a cool time because I'm very passionate about music. Yes, you are. Um, I got a little music thing going in case some of you didn't know that. You know, yeah. it's just like a little bullshit thing. It's like a hobby. That's but not true. Stream yeah. the album. It's unbelievable yeah. work of art. I Didn't Mean to Haunt You is my favorite album of the year of 2022. So please wow, go stream it. Check it out if you haven't. Like if you if you're just like a rap fan, if you're a Cardi fan and you watch this, you know, and you've never heard of Quadeca, listen to the album with an open mind. It's a great album. Yeah. Or even if you have, especially if you have heard of me, keep an open mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And Graydon, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? It is always advisable to perceive our ignorance. All right, this has been Hi My TV, we love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. I can't go nowhere without my drink. <laughs> <laughs> all week. We've been doing this all week. Yeah, just been going. You yeah. have. I'm Riley has too. I, I have. I've yeah. just been talking like a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at least like a like 25% of my things are just posted with my brothers. Hey, <laughs> we got a map. Cutty! Ben looked like a sailboat. Yeah, I got that kale throat. Your hands are surprisingly small. Shut the fuck up! Flicks, wet, in it, wet. Uh-oh. How was you feeling, bro? I like the whole right feel fantastic. <laughs> Which one would you be, though? Mr. Fantastic, cause the money like elastic. <laughs> but Ray Trent Drake, you smoke oregano, I'm smoking on that cat piece. I hope Don't Stop B Believing by Journey is in this bracket. It is. I mm -hmm. stuck it in there last night when no one was looking. Thank you, Grady. Sing no in a smoky room. Wow. <laughs> Shit, shit, shit. That's some shit, good stuff. Shit, shit, Woo! Okay. Yeah. You know the average age of your fans is 11? Have we ever done that? We've never not listened to the yeah, song. Yeah, I think we should just do it. I think we should just let it go. No, we, we gotta, gotta, gotta give it to him. I'm trying time. to go get lunch. You already <laughs> ate, you just ate it's lunch almost right dinner before time. This. <laughs> yeah, I haven't eaten all day, so. All right, yeah, yeah, let it fly. Pipe down, pussy. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I don't say stuff like that usually. <laughs>